Hi everyone, my name is Bill and welcome to my channel. Before we get started, please consider subscribing to my channel and possibly becoming a Patreon. Now this video uh, has been prompted by me changing the battery on one of my aeroplanes. Now you, if you've been watching my channel, you'll see me fly the Canary Trainer. And I've been flying on a 4S. Now many years ago I used to fly it on a 5S, but that battery came to its end of life and I had to dispose of it. So I bought another 5 cell. And what I wanted to do was check the uh, available RPM at, for both the 4S and the 5S, just for a comparison. So I did a, a, a what um, amp test and a RPM test. So let's switch over to the video and you can see how I did this. Uh, this is the 4 cell battery, the 2650 milliamp hour battery. Don't matter, we're gonna go for the power first. Are you ready? Okay, you comfortable? Yeah. I'm going to power this one up because I don't know what it's going to do. So I'm going to power it up behind it. You got it? Yep. Ready? Here we go. Got it? Nice. Okay, let's have a look. At, right, we're going to do a power test then, Madge. Here we go. Okay, I'm now going to get in front of this thing. Okay. Yeah. So I just want to pull up and get out this way first. Wow. Eleven thousand. Mm. Eleven thousand revs, so it's now pulling another two and a half thousand revs a minute. And there we go. You can see my test I did. What I wanted to show you is my digital tachometer. Let me just get that into focus so you can see it. And you see it's picking up a reading inside in now because it works with a photoelectric cell. So it's picking up the, um, the, the um, readings from the lights in the room. Apparently, as far as I understand, I think you can put this on a fluorescent tube and you should get a, cer a certain reading. So this is uh, quite useful. I'm not sure how accurate it is, but it, it does do the job. And as you could see, on the 4-cell, I was getting uh, 8,500 revolutions per minute, and that was on an 11 by 7 propeller. And then when I put the uh, bigger 5S on, I was getting an extra 2,500 revolutions per second. And th so that brought us up to 11,000. And in the video, you may have, if you hear, you can hear my friend say that she didn't think it made a lot of difference. But I could hear that the, definitely the rev revolutions were a lot different from the first battery to the second, and I'm sure you could too. Now, the other, obviously, the other side of this is the amps. We were drawing 24 amps on the 4S, or the ESC was, and the ESC was drawing 37 on the bigger battery. But the bigger battery is physically a lot bigger too because it's a 3,800 milliamp hour battery that I'm going to be putting in that plane. So uh, it'll be interesting. I'm going to uh, hopefully go and fly this uh, Saturday. So I'll release a video of you of me flying. Hopefully I can now do some aerobatics with it because with the 4S, there just was not a power. If I tried to do a loop, it would start to lose power but part halfway up the loop. And so then I had to uh, roll out. So it should be a lot better with this battery. Now, if you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you didn't, give it a thumbs down. And if you have any comments or questions, please leave them in the comments section below because I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. Happy flying. Bye for now.